Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Kakwadash. I'm the brother Taziar Gabar from Prophets in Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and salutation down to the hopeful elect. This is Acts 1 and 6. When they were when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of heaven? Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Rakakwadash. All right. I just read the book of Acts, first chapter, six verse. Okay. So, Acts 1 and 6, they were therefore come together. They asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And the brothers, now... We're striving to make it into the kingdom of heaven, all right? By the faith, backed by works. We're out here week in, week out, you know, on the hallways and hedges, doing classes throughout the week. Praying, fasting, striving to be of the, the hopeful elect and to get the kingdom of heaven. And even back then, the prophets of old, they wanted the kingdom of heaven. But it just wasn't the right time. Because a lot of prophecies had to be uh, passed by. Alright? So, when they therefore come together, talking about the Lord's disciples, they asked the Lord, like, is this the time that we're finna get the kingdom of heaven? Verse 7, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. Because ultimately only the Heavenly Father himself, Yahweh, knows when that time will come. So this is real letter. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. So brothers don't know when that time is going to be. Or the season. You know. But what we do know is. That it's very close. Which is why you get. Sirach 9. Alright. Not Sirach 9. Sirach here. Second Edges 9. This is Second Edges 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself. Alright, matter of fact, I'm gonna jump to I'm gonna go back to Second Edges 8 and 63. It says, Behold, O oh Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of wonders. Because Edris was seeing a lot of prophecy and visions, all right? Which will, uh oh, slack it. Which thou will begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? You know, because the prophets are old. You know, they've been seeking the kingdom even back then. Edras, you know, Matthew. All right. All these all these ancient prophets who saw these visions of um you know, the destruction that's going to come upon the earth, the kingdom of heaven. They, they all saw these things and they all desired 
to um, live it. Especially go to the kingdom. All the ancient prophets desired to go to the kingdom of heaven, but it wasn't that point in time for that to happen. You know, they all died not seeing the promise. You know, Abraham. All all these men died not seeing the promise, not going into the kingdom of heaven, but they. They saw it in their visions, but they didn't, um, it wasn't that time, you know, they didn't go. All right. But now, the time we're living in now, we know that it's the last days. So I'm going to read that back again. Second Ezra 8 and 63. Oh Lord, now... Has thou showed me the multitude of wonders? So all the visions that Ezra saw. Which thou will begin to do in the last times. The times we're living in now. But at what time thou hast not showed me? So even Ezra is asking. You know. Now is the time that the kingdom of heaven is nigh. You know, we've seen these prophecies come to pass, things playing out, things getting set up. You know, this generation getting more and more wicked. We know now it's the time Yahweh Shai is going to make his great return. But back then, even though he walked the earth, it wasn't his time. It wasn't time for Israel to rise up and get the kingdom. You know? Yahweh Shai had to come down humble and lay his life down for the elect, you know, first and bring us back to our Heavenly Father, you know, which we know it was different reasons why Yahweh Shai had to get crucified, you know, one, to repay back his own sins as Solomon, two, to bring Israel back to the Heavenly Father. You know, starting with the elect. And three, to, you know, make it easier for Jake to be in the times we're living in now. To be able to repent. You know, not have to uh, freaking sacrifice lambs. So, um, like I said, um, uh, the prophets of old, they didn't get to walk into the, they haven't been to the kingdom of heaven because it hasn't happened yet. You know, so even back then, the prophets of old, were, the prophets of old were desiring the kingdom of heaven. You know, they were desiring for all these prophecies to come to pass, for Israel to be restored in the kingdom of heaven. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You know? So, br brothers, now what we're doing, we're measuring the times diligently in itself and we're seeing all these things taking place you now we're leaking the scriptures to the world news and we're seeing what times that we're living in this is acts 1 and 7 and he answered unto them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which which the father hath put in his own power All right, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and ye shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea. And that's what have happened. And in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth, you know. 
And literally, we have fulfilled those times because this truth has reached the uttermost part of the world. You know, by way of the internet going out. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. So this is when Yahweh Shah got beamed up in the, in the cloud. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shah, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in a like manner. Oof. As ye have seen him go into heaven. All right. So those were two angels talking. And they said the same way he came out through that cloud, which is going into the chariot. That's the same way he's going to come back. You know, because Yahweh Shah is going to come back by way of those chariots. And the chariots, the so-called UFOs. All right. This is 2nd Ezra 13 and 3. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his covenants, his covenants to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. So that's the Yahweh Shah coming back on the cloud, the chariots, with the thousands of heaven, the angels. And when you read on, it's going to how, you know, he's going to be destroying with the beams of the chariots. Uh, trying to find a closer. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to um, Acts. This is Acts, the point of the lesson. We're living in those times that Yahweh Shah is gonna make his grand return. But yes, we got more prophecies to come to pass. We got the World War Three. We got the well. I just skipped some slot here. You got Jacob's trouble, which is what we're finna fastly approach. You know, got the MOTB. You got World War Three. You know, and Yahweh Shah is gonna come back in the midst of that. But reading Acts one and six again, I'm gonna close out. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? You know, so we're coming back in that like that like stead. You know, brothers is desiring the kingdom of Yasharala. We're desiring to be in the kingdom of Israel. You know, brothers tired of being in this world right here under this rulership of Esau you know Babylon the Great is getting played out and we just desire to enter into the kingdom of heaven more and more at an all time high you know um Lord willing, this video is edifying. Close out, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Kapadash.
It's the brother Tazayar Gabar, prophets in Babylon, Waco, Texas. The Barners, unto the elders, and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace, salutation down to the whole for you, Alright, I'm going to say Shalom.